What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for subsets? Do you nerd for Marvel? Do you nerd for... WandaVision! This is Tom and Lizzie, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding... Comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lizzie collecting right now. Welcome, nerdlings, to Lady Lacey's Toy Room. Now, you collect toys. Just toys. If you like it, you nerd it. If you nerd it, you like it. Even if I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when it comes to toys, just like anything else, collecting subsets can be very handy. Because, let's face it, you're going to go insane trying to collect every Marvel Legends figure. Not that you don't try, it I, seems like. Yeah, but see, I don't go for every single one. I just go for the ones that look cool. <laughs> well, one of the Marvel properties that you absolutely love is anything to do with Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. You already have a couple of toys, right? I do. I have a couple. Two variants. One where basically her hair is slightly different color. <laughs> two different visions that go along with her. One a little bit more see-through than the other. And I even have like the comic book uh, version of Scarlet Witch in the Marvel Legends. And then among other things, Funko Pops, uh, Lego figures. I love my, I love my Wanda. And of course, some comics. I know I that do, you've got some yes. of the limited. Wanda Vision um, from like way back in the day. There were two different ones. I think one might have been. I could be wrong on this one, but I think it was an eight-part series, and the other one was a twelve part series. You've been following Wanda's career with great interest. I have. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Is she all right? Doing she's amazing. Okay love her. She is a great <laughs> Wanda. I, I love her. She's doing a great job. What is it about just the character Scarlet Witch? What draws you to her? And it could be the comic book version, any of the uh, the other iterations like in the cartoons or just the MCU live action version. Well, I've always been a sucker for accents. I like anybody who's got a fun accent. And so, you know, Wanda always kind of had that fun accent occasionally. She lost it sometimes. What happened to your accent? <laughs> what happened to yours? <laughs> what happened to your accent? What happened to yours? Honestly, in the beginning, it was her outfit. There was something, I mean, I know it was a little skimpy. I just liked her outfit. It was kind of fun, and I kind of followed her storyline. She was kind of interesting. There are sometimes I don't like costume changes. Wanda's costume changes evolving have been awesome. I have loved each one even better than the last one. And then this newest outfit that she's got, I love it. I love it with the kind of curly wild hair and her crown has just evolved. Actually, I guess I should say she now in the MCU finally has her crown. Her magic was just really fun because it was just kind of, it was kind of whatever she wanted it to be. So there's some power behind that too. I think even you feel like Thanos got to see that first hand. Uh, uh, totally. In the movie, 100%. You can tell. You can even see it on Thanos' eyes. Scarlet Witch had him. She was about to take him down to the fact that he had to call in reinforcements to obliterate her and even his own men. Rain fire! But silence. Troops, just do it! So, sorry Captain Marvel, you didn't save the day, Scarlet Witch did. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the things that prompted us to have a little bit of a Scarlet Witch talk is you got the new Marvel Legends WandaVision figure. I did! You were very excited about this too. I was, because I saw the, this line show up on Amazon for pre-orders, which they actually said it's not coming out until August, so I was kind of shocked that she came when she did. And the funny thing was, the day she came in, I was actually wearing... Yeah, you were already wrapping, Wanda. I was. I was wearing this shirt. Before you tear into this, first of all, that's not your only Wanda shirt. It is not. Uh, I mean, as cool as it looks, you've, you've got like that very prominent crown on her, uh, the Art Nouveau style, really cool, you know, just the accent of her eyes and her lips. You have something that goes along uh, with this fella. I do. We, we right have here. a couple shirt, if you will. And I surprised you with these shirts. You did. The I didn't even I, know these existed. I, I was being super cheesy and I was like, hey, I got you a shirt and I got me a shirt too. Yeah. And you kind of like the fact that they went together. I do love the fact that they go together. So this was actually my very first 
Wanda in her new outfit shirt. And then your other Wanda shirt is also very cool in yes, style. Yes, I love this one too. I loved this one because first of all, you've got her just, you know, a nice big silhouette of her using her magic kind of in the universe. But then if you look into her shadow, you can see the fun like 1950s Vision and Wanda from WandaVision and everything. So it's kind of neat. There's kind of things just kind of in there. Kind of circling back around to toys, you actually have a Lego minifig. Of I do. I do. How adorable is that? I love my minifigs. And the minute I found one online, I, I couldn't wait for a convention to pop up. It popped up on my eBay and I was like, I have to have it. So it's her in her new outfit and she's got a little bit of her like magic going on on her hands and everything. So Circling back around again because that, that's what chaos magic does. It, yeah, it circles it's around. Uh, you're talking about her crown, but you're no stranger to accessories because first of all, earrings. Yes. In fact, I'm wearing a pair of them right now. I can't tell this one if it's her new crown like a stylized version of her new crown or her old crown because it's just it's just a nice silhouette of the crown. Cute. And what about the other earrings? The other earrings that I have, Wanda in her Halloween costume nice. of Scarlet Witch. So it's it's a painted version, a hand painted version of her wearing her little Halloween costume. And then the other pair that I have um, is also hand painted, but it's the heart that says to grow old in V that Vision wrote on the deed to their home. Oh, so that's so That's cute. becoming a very popular thing. I've been seeing that a lot online, where it's just the heart with the to grow old in V. And if earrings aren't particularly your thing, your watch band. I do, <laughs> I have a custom watch band. I love changing my Apple watch band all the time. So I like to get a bunch of nerdy ones and found me an awesome Wanda one. And it's simple, it's just a nice black band with the um, crown on one side and on the other side. You wanna read that? I can show you what you truly fear. <laughs> <laughs> and even your phone case. I Holy know, cow. I got a phone case for it. And I love this one because again, it's got the to grow old in V on it. It's got old timey TV, welcome to Westview. And then it's got Wanda and Vision in there. Halloween costumes. And that was great. They looked and, awesome. And then it's got like that like atomic age 50s, 60s like it's very I think iconic of like symbol a though. Starburst. Yeah, Starburst thing. You've got toys, you've got shirts, you got Lego minifig, earrings, phone case, watch band. People are probably thinking, yeah, I know that stuff exists. We're gonna touch real quick on something that I don't know if anyone knows exists. A makeup bag. Does makeup bag. I got this from Ulta Beauty. They actually had an entire makeup line. They had false eyelashes, uh, makeup, makeup bag, little travel bag. And I love it because it's just simplistic, nice and red, but there's a little bit of glitter in there. And then, hey, does, does that look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I love how simple I know, this design I do. is. It's just so simplistic. But it's such a fun, nerdy element to uh, a practical item, mm -hmm. you know, Very and uh, something that necessarily doesn't always have a nerdy outlet. As exactly. Well. Yeah. Sometimes you just, it feels like you either get to be nerdy or you like makeup. It's very rare that you get to do both. <laughs> and it came with a very lovely brush case, lots of really pretty sparkly brushes. And then it has just that lovely little crown on there. And just real quick, not that it has anything to do with it, but uh, was it the same company that had a Black Widow line? Yes, they did a Black Widow line so, too. So uh, there's, you know, nerdiness yeah. out there. Keep an eye on Ulta Beauty. All right, all right, all right. I guess we've talked enough about the stuff you already have. Suppose it's time to let you tear into the new thing you have. Yeah. So, and you're sure you don't want to keep this in the box? No. Maybe you have it graded? No. Sealed? No, because I'm not a monster, but I like to play with my toys. <laughs> <laughs> there she is in wow. her brand new outfit and all of her oh glory. My gosh. I love how they've already got like the magic kind of swirling around her hands. Yes, what a great look. But it also comes with kind of like magic-y hands. Oh, so like full on. Mm -hmm. So like her hands are full on doing the magic. And the other touch that I really like that what they did is Elizabeth Olsen does a really cool, like weird, like finger thing where they're like, it's almost like they're alive and she can move them in like weird ways. <laughs> and they've done that with her hands. They've given her oh, kind nice. of her weird little hand thing that she does. I am 100% 
looking forward to getting back to conventions for obvious reasons, <laughs> but I cannot wait to see the Wanda cosplay. Now on her, she does have her crown as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think about her face? How well did they do? Honestly, I think they did an amazing job. I feel like every time they get a little bit better and a little bit better. And I do get a little nervous when I buy these figures online because I do like to go somewhere where there's multiples of the same figure so that I can really look them over to make sure that the paint is in the right spot. She doesn't have like walleye going on or whatever. But good point. We did a good they did a good job. I know no one personally picked this out for me, but <laughs> Standard movement there. Uh, her hair is long and flowy, but honestly, it really doesn't restrict her head all that she's much. She's got magic hair. It's like doing that magic flowy <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, the shoulders and elbows and the hands all have their movement. She's got the nice movement right there at the chest to really give her that good swivel. No swivel at the waist, though. She doesn't bend at the waist, but she does at the legs. And, of course, the double triple jointed. knee. And her flowing cape skirt dress there's a little it's like a vest coat maybe there's a little bit of pliability to it which is nice uh it's not the weird cloth that doesn't really go with the rest of the figure mm -hmm. but it's also not that hard plastic that you can't do anything with not that you're really going to be moving this around that much but just having that movement is nice now in this um, marvel legends line that they've got going on i have already been able to pre-order the loki because i love my loki and I pre-ordered Winter Soldier. And the only one in this line that I'm interested in that I have not been able to find is the Vision. They've got a white Vision. And I did find him on Amazon, but his pre-order is $70. Ooh, wow. So I, I will never understand how people can already not even have it and charge super high for a pre-order. Yeah. So I'm still on the lookout for white Vision because I've got to get him to go with the collection it just <laughs> wouldn't be right to have wanda without her vision i can honestly say though i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but i'm not really interested in the rest of the line or the build a fig for this one but the nice thing is whenever you're not interested in stuff like that if you have the build a fig pieces that you don't want yep you can usually sell those off yeah. there are people out there who are only interested in the build a fig so it's it kind of works out for everybody and i never feel bad about doing that because i'm also one of those people that sometimes i don't want anybody in the line but i want the build a fig so i Good have call. gone online myself and bought just pieces of the build a fig fyi five mini lion bots come together to form one super bot so you... five mini lion bots all right, well, there you go, Nerdleads. Uh, a great look at some very, very fun Wanda Scarlet Witch pieces from WandaVision. Let us know in the comments down below if you collect anything WandaVision, you know, if you're a fan of Wanda Scarlet Witch from any age, you know, the comic age, from the cartoons, from the movies, whatever. If you collect any toys or just any subsets you happen to collect, let us know what you thought of the series WandaVision, because why not? Did you know about the makeup stuff? Because that's... That's weird. I don't buy a lot of makeup, so I never would have known about it. Be honest. <laughs> Please leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe notification bell and start working your chaos magic. Yes, because you need to like us on Facebook and Instagram and go to Tee Public and buy our merchandise over there so that you're not afraid. And hit us up on the Retro Refresh, because we're definitely not scary on the Retro Refresh, are we? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and nerdlings, if we like it... We nerd it for all the Wanda stuff. Hey, wait a minute. We don't just love Wanda. But I, I, I didn't kill Sparky, though. It, it was Agatha all along! What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for subsets? Do you nerd for Marvel? Do you nerd for... Is that when I was supposed to do my thing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's why I went over it before okay. in rehearsal. Okay. I don't like the rehearsal. They're stupid. Well, <laughs> you would have known at all otherwise. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. What, jealous much? Was that your sorceress, sorceress bird? Sorceress bird fell over. But I cannot wait to see the Wanda cosplay. Wonder how much that picked up. <laughs>